What's going on, everybody? You know the vibe. This week over eight at the table. And thank you for everybody that's been tuning in on all platforms, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. We're going to jump right into it. Nikki. Hey, guys, it's Nikki. And today's topic at A at the Table is, would you move to another city or another state for your significant other? Danny, are I'm you moving, sis? <laughs> no, I'll move. I'll move. Like, I totally move. Like, you know, if it makes sense. You know, I feel like you shouldn't move to a different city just to please your partner. You know what I'm saying? And you shouldn't move to a different city if you feel like you're giving up too much. If you got to give up your job, your family, your friends, and you feel like it doesn't make sense, you should not move. Because it's kind of like a lot of people, they move to a different city, not because they want to move, just to please. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't move just to please. You should think about yourself. You know what I'm saying? You should think about things that you want to do. Because a lot of times, people say, like, a man will be like, let's move. You know, they're just trying to isolate you from your family. And they're just trying to control you. And they can't do that with you being next to your family and your friends. So they'd be like, let's go to Colorado. What are you doing in Colorado? Why are you going to leave a big city to a small city? It don't even make sense. Like, the whole move got to make sense. Like, you know, for me, I'm an entertainer. I'm not going to move to a small city with a man. Like, for what? I feel like you're trying to kill my dream. But if you're like, let's move to LA, it's going to be better for your career for both of us. Let's move to Miami. Let's move to New York, Chicago. But if you'd be like, let's move to Minnesota, move where? What is this? I don't even know this as a state. You know, people leave to Minnesota. People leave Minnesota to come to New York. They don't go f from New York to go to Minnesota unless I'm like 50 years old and I'm like, you know what? I'm trying to settle down. And I'm, and then I'm, you know, what I'm saying, it depends on your job, your profession. Right. You shouldn't move if you go somewhere. Let's just say you're a nurse, and then where you going? It all it, it, there's not. You a, could, that's one thing about being a nurse. You, you know, but whatever. Anywhere. You gotta know what's work for you in right. that moment. That certain city, you can you can find a job there. Sure. Now you're moving to please somebody, and when you move there, guess what? You're Gonna start resenting that person because you're like, damn, I done gave up all that, and now we're arguing. Now we're not saying out of eye. It really gotta make sense when you move, right? You know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of people that home they, they will move, and next thing you know, they're not together. So no more. you're basically saying when someone moves with another person, when you move to another city with your partner or for your partner, mm -hmm. well, let me ask that too. Let's say you're in a long distance relationship. Are you moving to another city for this person? Because there's one thing where you're like, if me and Rico's together and we live in Jersey, and he's like, yo, Nikki, let's move to Atlanta. And I'm like, all right, cool. But if Rico's already in Atlanta and he's coming back and forth, he's like, Nikki, yo, just move out here to Atlanta. Like, is that is that different? Or is it it got to make sense. Just, let's just think you've always been thinking about moving. You know what I'm saying? And who got more to lose? If Rico got more to lose, of course, I'm going to be like, I'm going to come meet you there. If I got more to lose, he should be able to be like, yo, I'm going to come in that way. You know what I'm saying? It's who got more to lose and doesn't make sense. And do, do you even trust that person? You know what I'm saying? A lot of people want love so bad, they will get up. Like my friend did, they get up and go to the other side of the where's the bunda fuck just to end the relationship for what i have a question mm -hmm. let's get into real specific details on this topic mm -hmm. it's easy to say you would move but would you move if you had to contribute towards the rent so let's say you have a partner and he's like hey i live in la mm -hmm. i want you to move in with me mm -hmm. by the way you are going to have to contribute to whatever the rent is. Maybe 20%, 30%. Oh, yeah. If it's at 10 15%, we could do that. <laughs> I didn't say 10%. She's like, you got to make a taxes. I said, <laughs> 20, 20%, 20%, 20%. Like, we could do that. Let's say he said say say the rent is $2,000. He's okay. like, Yo, I need you to throw like seven, eight hundred a month. That's fair. 600 <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, right No, he said seven, eight. You said six. six. I mean, like, we got to bunk in the whole thing. But you'll like, do that. I feel like, honestly, even if I'm not paying rent, like, let's just say he pays for everything, I will pay for the groceries and stuff like that. I'm not going to help him pay rent. But if yeah. I feel like me giving you five, six hundred dollars is not helping you pay the rent. Yeah, yeah. You my thing is, saying? my thing is, I don't like the fact that I feel like women are quick to move because a man is already taking care of everything. That's my pet peeve. It's like you could have OK lifestyle here, but I'm living somewhere else and now I'm going to bring you in, and you think that you have to do less. So if it's more beneficial wait, wait, wait. for the woman, you say Yeah, yeah, I don't like that part. Why, why should it not be beneficial for the woman? I mean, as, as a man, you can't ask a woman to come to your city, live in your house, and pick up everything that she has, wherever she is, and expect her to be paying anything. All right, so let me ask you this question, right? Because a relationship is supposed to be reciprocal. 
So at that point, what are you there? Because I'm talking. I'm talking for a man that has options. Are you are you picking up to go where she is? If, even if I did, the situation would still remain the same. I don't care if I come to you or you come to me. The situation is gonna remain the same because you come into my home. I don't know what else you would do besides the sex, but you have to be doing something else to contribute to my house. But why, why, why does it matter though? Hmm. Think about it. I, you. Okay, no, go ahead. so this is the thing. If any, and this is my perspective because this is what I have lived. If you asking Aaron Campbell to move somewhere, <laughs> shit need to be set up for me to move somewhere. I need somewhere to stay. Yeah, I'll find me a job. You know what I mean? Like that's that that's only because I'm, I'm, I have a job where I'm at. You know what I mean? But you you can't expect me to pick up all my good shit that I got going on, my friends, my family, my job, my investments, my this, that, and the other, and have me come. And, and suffer in silence, you know what I'm saying, with no support system. With, that sounds with... good, but like you got to also be realistic because you're in a long distance relationship, which means that you love this person, which means that you are dedicating your life potentially to this person. It sounds good to say if I was a girlfriend, I don't expect any girlfriend to move anywhere for any man. Right. But you're talking about somebody you see as your husband. So if you see them as your husband, or somebody that could be your husband, you're willing to take cer certain sacrifices. So leaving your family and leaving your friends, even if it's in the same state, comes when you move in with your husband. So you're doing that regardless. So now my thing is- no, 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 if you stay in the same city, yeah. your parents live down the street. Yeah, but like, how often are you gonna be at your parents' house? Let's be realistic. You got work and you got a husband. My mother-in-law that... lives a block from me. Uh huh. So we see my mother-in-law all the time. You see your mother-in-law. No, so that's what I'm saying. That's your mother-in-law, not your mother. Let, let me finish. I'm just saying. So the, the same way I can up and move to New York, which I have, my husband could have moved to Houston. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Could have moved to Houston, and we would have been by my mama's house. Yeah. We would have been by my daddy's house. We could see my siblings all the time. You understand what I'm saying? It, so it's not. It, it, I don't think. I think the person who is having someone move to them has to do a lot of soul searching and understand you got to step up and provide. You got to provide a house. You got to provide a car. You know what? When I moved here, I'm from, I'm from Texas. We don't have four all-wheel drive vehicles. We buy rear-wheel or, or you know, rear-wheel driven vehicles. So you know what? I had to get a job here. I had to buy a car here. I had to have to, somewhere to live here. I had to do a whole bunch of shit here. So real here. talk. I don't want to hear shit. You need to make the shit nice and right for me when I get here. Yeah, Period, point like, blank. That's sound, Why are you going to act to my No, it ain't, it ain't what sounds good. Okay, so, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah, hold on. That sounds very good, and I get that. But so you're trying to tell me, in a nutshell, because you're sacrificing what you have at home for something that you believe in, something that you love, something that you're willing to leave your family for, he has to paint the perfect picture. But realistically, you not moving because he said so. You're moving because you want to. So what I'm trying to say is, don't try to paint what you want and your desires, what you're searching for as a burden for him or an obligation for him to do more for you. But what, you get what I'm this, saying? This my, that's my life. I'm, no, I'm just, I'm just saying.